So this is Shan's finished outfit. She starts when she comes out, she's got this gorgeous cape on. And that's actually got armholes, so her arms are through there. So it's got a hood with a little comb on so it stays in her hair. She's got the white wig with it as well. So then the first thing she takes off on stage is the cape. And that reveals this look. So the lace is all joined at the back of the, like the top of the G-string part. But it's on elastic that goes around her elbows. Um, she's doing a bubble performance with this, so she's not stripping completely like for a burlesque performance. So after she's taken the cape off, she then unties that. And then this lace is just held together with two poppers at the back of the neck. So when she takes that off, that drops. And then this is the costume she does the bubble performance in. So because it's around her elbows like this, when she lifts her arms, you get the beautiful drape of that fabric that comes up from the top of the G-string. So again, that's our finished look from the front. And that's the look from the back. So the fabric is gathered on the bum. So we've got two lengths of fabric, but then I've put a triangular insert in the center here. And then there's another triangular insert at the ends just to give extra fullness at the bottom. And then with the gathers at the top, it gives this beautiful shape that you can't just get from one strip of fabric. So this is the body cage from the back. So under here, you've got the, the back of the G-string and then that's on a ring and all of these are coming off the ring and that's where I attach the fabric to as well. This is sewn on because it doesn't need to be detachable for this costume, but you could put that on with Velcro or hooks and eyes or poppers if you need that to come off. So this actually sits lower and sits around her ribs. Then we've got these pieces that come up around the waist. And then we've got the asymmetrical shoulder part. So we've got all the big wings this side and then big wings here on the hip. And then as it comes round, so then you've got the front of the G-string which is joined by rings. Then you've got all these parts which are actually joined by appliques. And then lastly, she's got this little leg piece that's just on two strips of elastic that goes around her thigh. And that's her full bubble outfit and it looked beautiful on stage. I, was, I actually got along to see the show, which was really cool. So I saw her debut performance wearing it, which was a lot of fun. It, she's so talented and it looks so ethereal with the white wig and the music and the bubbles. It was just beautiful. It came together really, really well. So I'm really pleased with how my first ever body cage has come out. Um, I'm really keen to do more of those. I really like the way it attaches to the G string. And now I've got this mannequin, it's gonna make it a lot easier to experiment with them. I love using the appliques in it. That's something I'd like to experiment with more when I get time as well. But yeah, that's it. That's Chan's bubble costume finish.